I guess they're starting, so we got Bruce Corn Classic versus Nick's Diddy Kong. I know Nick has Diddy, I haven't seen too much of him in the racket. But he just claps him and just throws him down there, so that's fine. That was a really early stop coming from Nick. We'll see it. Boost is, uh, he's, uh, pretty proficient at, uh, bring it, like, coming back or stuff, bring it back. So, let's see if Nick will allow him to use Diddy's pressure. Jensen G. Um, Spaku back on commentary. Spake. Yep. Spake. Um, okay, so we have Nick up a game on Booth. Wow. Um, I don't know if this is a bad match for Corn. Here I go again saying the same five things I always do. I, oh, what? This game is stupid. <laughs> I mean, okay, that's gonna do it. Uh, gotta love Dragon Shot. Oh, wow. So sorry, that was very loud. Uh, I'm used to the other mic we were using. was very crappy. Probably. Thanks a lot, Sparn. Good. We got rep voice acting for this game once again. So, remember the... I can't go back to the 
So it looks like we have a coin. Just looks like we have a Nick opting to go back to town. Uh, is he still going with Diddy Kong? A Nick characteristic of changing to a new character every week practically, but he always plays them with finesse somehow. It's kind of frustrating. Because you never know what he's going to do against you. For me, though, I'm pretty sure he's just going to stay dead set on his Rosalina, because that's a terrible point to That's beside the point. Um, like I was saying, I don't really know what kind of advantages both characters have in this. Um, oh, he goes for the meaty down air there. Um, I mean, it didn't come out at all, but I, I, I saw the attempt and I appreciate it. Uh, Diddy, characteristic for really just good everything, good neutral, especially good throw combos. Uh, but Korn's range, I feel like, could be very annoying and nullify uh, a lot of Diddy, some of Diddy Kong's good strength. Um, not seeing a lot of banana pulls right now. I'm not sure if, uh, I mean, each Diddy plays differently, but I feel like that's a essentially pivotal part of Diddy's meta is the bananas. So hoping we'll see, we'll see a bit more of those coming out from Nick here. Lots of, lots of down tilts, though. At least he's got that part mastered of the Diddy Kong meta. Uh, solid move here coming up from Nick, despite my criticizing him not using banana enough, I suppose. Goes for another meaty down here. Man, he's really, he really wants those. He's like I'm watching Rusky right now. Uh, oh, but the up air is going to kill because Corrin. Um, is, is Corrin's up air, like, the exact same strength the whole way through? I feel like it is. I'll have to ask Boost post set. Boost opting not for music this set. That's, a. Uh, I'm not sure if this is actually boost or not. Wants to hear his way too, Joe. Good. Oh, okay. I thought he thinks he thought he. I think he was expecting to land on the platform, but didn't quite didn't quite nail it. Oh, goes for, goes for the instant fin. Uh, he's got a lot of good setups on that. Uh, just, he, he will, he will instant fin you at, at like very good situation where you wouldn't expect it. Uh, we have, we have Nick at a very strong deficit here. Misses his edge guard though. Another one going out. Another, a lot of these instant fins going out. Ooh, okay, we have a dangerous situation here. Almost gets a double back air and a down air. And the dragon shot will do it again. Good stuff coming up from Boost after a, a one game deficit. Boost, where's the headset? Where are you, what are you doing? Music? What's the music like? I'm trying to, I'm trying to play without it. What? That's ridiculous. 